Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at an RDA from El Sig Art and it's called The Lust. Now those of you that have stuck with me over the years, uh, many, many moons ago, I did a review for the Zorbis, uh, which was also from El Sig Art and that's going back some. Uh, after that, then if I remember correctly, they then had the Hydra which is still going. I believe you can even get it in 24 millimeter guys now as well. And they also have the Squonker, which is the Blasphemy, which once again, you can still get, and it's on their website, uh, Vapors Boutique. The link for that will be in the description. Now, the RDA, this is a new one, and I bumped into them in Stuttgart at the Hall of Vape, and I, this is different. I'm happy. Happy Todd, uh, it's nice to see a, a dripper that is, it's not following this. There's lots of single coil drippers on the market. Now this is a squonking RDA, uh, but it's, I'll, I'll show you in the close-ups, it's just different to the rest. And, and that makes it a lot more interesting for me and, and I hope you enjoy this review. Now this is going to be 139 euros. And as I said, you can go along to Vapors Boutique and get it from there. The second batch is just coming. Now the, the, the batch I have here, I'll cover this more as we go along. It's going to be exactly the same, the only difference difference will be in uh, the drip tip on the top cap. They're shaving 0.1 of a mil off the, the top cap hole because I was actually finding with some of my drip tips on this one just a bit on the loose side, just a bit too loose. So they are changing the new top cap. It's going to be bang on for your drip tips. The only other thing I will mention, and I'm not 100% sure, but you can see from the photo on the website they actually show the Atti coming with an, an Ultum cap as well. I'm not 100% sure, but I will get confirmation on that. And if the Atti, you know, the Ultum top cap is included with the Atti, I will let you know by the time this review is finished or it will be in the description. But for now, close-ups. Now, when I got this in Stuttgart, it came to me like this. And if we just take this out of there, you can see we have our little Atti. And on the bottom, we have Lust. And this is actually, you know, this is threaded. This is a 510 Atti stand. So I like the fact that that is included. Also in there was a baggie. We had two spare O-rings and two spare screws. The Atti itself is 22 millimeters in diameter. It's 21 millimeters in height. That's not including the drip tip or the 510. The drip tip that comes with it, it is an Ultum drip tip and I do believe it has a six millimeter bore in there. And this is made from 304 stainless steel. On the base, we have Lust and we also have a serial number. And this is, I don't know what coating this is, what they've done, it's, uh, but where it says Lust in 23 here, it's got, a, you know, it's like that uh, media blasted finish on there, and it's quite a nice touch. Styling wise, you know, we've got the grooves going right round here. We have a single air slot, which is down here, and that's about five mil by 1.5 mil in size. Taking the top cap off, uh, we have a look in here. It's quite a standard interior on the cap here. There's no bells and whistles going on as such, but you can see we do have a ledge in there, you know, and that's where this is going to rest on. Also, this whole RDA was made in Greece. Now the deck itself, this is what we'll do is we'll turn this upside down and we've got a flathead screwdriver here and I'm just going to undo this BF pin here. My one did not come with a standard 510 pin. I don't believe it comes with one. This is just a squonking RDA. So I'm just gonna grab my positive post here and just pull on that and this comes to bits. So you can see we've got a peak base running around here. Now this peak base, it does come out, um, but I'm not gonna try and take this out because it is a very, very tight fit. And I'm actually, I was worried about actually deforming the peak round here if I got in about it and tried, you know, I just didn't want to do that in case I broke it. But when I was in Stuttgart, they did show me it coming to bits and yes, this would come out as well. So what happens here is we have air comes in through here and then comes through here and then comes out this slot here up to your coil and this is angled so if I just slot this in here just now you can see how that's coming up at an angle so air's coming out like this what a terrible example but you get the gist 
So now you know how the air is coming at the slot here, but you can also see if we look down the bottom, we have this slot here. So juice is going to come up through your 510 and then it's going to come up to here and then get diverted out those two slots and it goes into your juice well. So what I'll do is I'll just push my positive post back in here like that and then this just drops in here. Now it is a tight fit, it's a tight fit, it does take a little bit of persuasion or my one did take a little bit of persuasion to go in but uh, it will go in. Uh, just be careful, it's peak, it's quite strong but you don't want to force it in, you don't want to break anything. And you can see that just giving this a push, boink, down she goes. Screw my 510 back in here. 510 pin does protrude past that peak there. Not a great deal, but uh, that's enough for me. So back up top, uh, I'll just undo my, these are Phillips screws that are on here. And these are two millimeter holes that we have inside the posts. See them there? So you know how the air is coming out here at an angle. So we have a rough idea of where we want the coil to sit. And you can also see we have two wells here. Remember the juice is going to come out into these wells. But uh, there's different ways that you can actually wick this. I've been playing about with this a fair bit. And, and I'll show you what I've been doing. I've got some 24 gauge cantle here spaced out. And I'm just, you know, it's around a three millimeter inner diameter rod this. And we're just going to push this up here. It's dead easy to, but this is as simple as it gets to build on. But I am taking this quite close to the posts here. Now this is a 0 0.5 ohm coil. Once again, it's 24 gauge, three millimeter in diameter. And you can see hopefully where I've got that coil in relation to that slot coming out. Now it did take, for me, it took some playing about with this one because my temptation was to have the coil further out towards the wells. But then I was finding I was getting a harsh hit from it and it wasn't working that well. So the closer I took it back to the actual posts and I just found that in this position here it worked better for me in the way I like to vape. But you might need to play about. There is some mucking about. Is, no, uh, you, you do have to play about with the coil height and position. It's, it's going to be different for everybody but this is what I like right here. Just to show you how it squonks, I'm on a, a NeoFet here by 67 mods and if I give this a little squonk here, you can see the juice coming out into those wells and it gets sucked straight back out. Now with the cotton, I'll not like when I first got it, what I was doing, I was just cutting the cotton just as you normally would and I was just pushing it down into those wells and, and I'm going to do that with one side, I'm just going to poke it down gently, uh, not too much, just poke it down so it's sitting just in the well there and, and that's fine like that. And being the, the, the idiot that I am, there's something I like to do with the other side. I just put a little split in the cotton here and I'll kind of separate this and this bit on the outside, I'll put that down into the well and this bit here, I kind of run this along the bottom of the deck. Um, just. You see where I'm going with this? It'll make more sense once it's juiced up. I've kind of like got that going on. So you can see that I'm, I'm still getting air coming underneath the coil there as well. But I've just kind of like got this little, it's not a barrier. It's just for me, you know, when I squonk, it, it just, it soaks up a bit more juice. I don't have to squonk as much. And it's just something I've been doing. I don't know if it's the correct way to build this. I've, it's just what works for me. So when I squonk this, it just, the juice comes flooding into the chamber and, and it just soaks that entire side. So I tend to hold my my mod, my atty, when I'm squonking at a slight angle. And I'll, I'll cover this more when we talk back up top. So I'll take the stainless steel top cap, we'll pop this back on, and there she goes. So once again, uh, we're, we've got the atty here. There's the lust and we're on the neofet. Um, we'll just, I'll tell you what, what we'll do is I'll take this off and I'll show you again with the ultim so you can get an, a better idea how this is squonking. Uh, I did think, and when I first got this, I, I will admit that um, there was a, a slight learning curve in that um, I found if I just held the atty like this, and squonked, then I was over squonking and I was occasionally getting juice coming out the air hole. However, I just hold it like that, just hold the air hole up a bit and if this focuses in, so there's the air hole there, so just hold it at a slight angle and squonk, let go. You see how much juice is going there? It's literally filling up half of the chamber with juice and then it's sucking it all straight back out and there's no leaking from there at all. But that's a totally saturated 
bit of cotton in there. So we'll just have a quick vape. I really can't fault it in any way. Um, squonking with it, it, it's a breeze now. Um, I just find it no leaking. I don't get the, it doesn't over squonk. Um, obviously if you go bah, go mad with it, yeah you will have juice coming out of there but that's the same as any RDA. But the thing I wanted to make clear is that even though that air hole, the position of it, when you first see this RDA you think, well I thought it's just going to leak like billy uh, But just give it a little tilt and I do find that the way that I'm wicking it. I'm not saying that's the correct way. Uh, I mean, there's no reason why you can't just put the cotton down into those two wells and just leave it like that. But I do find that having that extra little bit of cotton to just bridge across the lower part of the deck, it just works better for me. Also, it, it just it's a little barrier so that when you squonk, your chamber just doesn't fill in straight up with juice straight away. It's it's saturating the cotton more than just filling a chamber. The coils that I've been using in here, I've not used. I don't think this is this isn't for your big rowdy coils. This is a single coil RDA. The size in the post holes, you've got two millimeter inner diameter holes in there, so that's going to restrict the size of coil you put in for a start. Also, I think it works better with yeah, 0 0.3, 0 0.5 just standard gauge wire. Maybe you can go for smaller micro, you know, fuse clapped and coils and things like that. But, you know, big power builds I just do not think work well in here at all. It's much more in keeping with all the other single coil RDAs out there. You guys that buy these single coil RDAs, the coils that you normally put in them work well in this as well. The only limiting factor is the two millimeter inner diameter post holes in the terminals. As far as the draw goes, now the draw fully open uh, like I have here and uh, just comparing it, it's almost identical to the Hassar RDA. I find it very similar to that. So once again the airflow is in keeping with the, the vast majority of the kind of RDAs I like so it works really well for me. Yes you can adjust it, I mean the cap turns easy enough, you know I can turn this air hole down. Uh, remember, as always, that's not going to affect, you know, the type of air that's going to hit the coil because the hole underneath the coil stays the same size. It's just restricting it on the outside of the RDA, but you can turn it down. So I'm halfway closed here. And that, yeah, it gives a nice vape. I do like running this fully open because it's it's what I'm used to. But it's not, a, this isn't a cloud chaser, it, it's really not, but um, yeah, it just works well for me. As far as those builds go, I, I do think there is, it, it's a bit more sensitive to coil position this one. Uh, it might take a few builds or a few, pop your build in and just moving that coil about, but I find closer to the posts and, you know, you saw where the air's coming out and you'll, you'll see my build and you should get a good idea of where to put the coil, but it did take me a few builds to just get it bang on. If you find it just a little bit too harsh, then the chances are that you've got the coil too far out and, and bring it closer in. I didn't find the top cap getting overly hot with a 0 0.3 ohm build in there, running about 35 watts and it performed quite the thing. Giving it another squonk there and it's very quiet. It's very smooth. It's got a smooth draw on it this thing. It's not noisy in the slightest. It's, I like this because it's not just because I can get good flavour from it, I can get really, really nice flavour from this and I like the draw on it, but I also like the fact that it's different. That always, that's, that's a big tick for me. It's not something that doesn't look like every other deck out there just now, it's just gone a different route and I think he's done a really nice job on this. The only things that, what can I mention on this? Um, presentation's really nice. I like the little 510 Atti stand that comes with it. There is no 510 pin with it, as in, you know, using it as a standard dripper, uh, or at least there wasn't one in my package here. So, 
as far as I can tell you, it doesn't come with one. So that might be a negative for some people, but it's an excellent squonker. Once again, just give it a little tilt to the side and, and you'll be fine. The drip tip on my one, the one this is the first batch, I do think the drip tip was just, the, the drip tip hole on the top here was just a little bit on the big side and the vast majority of my 510 drip tips were just a bit too loose. But as I said at the start, the next batch that's coming out now, uh, you know, they are reducing the size of the, the hole on the top cap, so that should sort that issue out. As far as price goes, yes, it is on the more expensive side when it comes to the current crop of RDAs, so th there is that, but as always, that's, I don't get into that, that's your decision to some people, 140 euros is nothing but a drop in the ocean, to some people it's completely out with their budget, it's down to you at the end of the day. Just remember the draw is is on the more restricted direct lung. It's it's comparable to, you know, say a Hussar RDA if you've had that. It's a lot tighter than a Haku fully open, but it's just the And that gives you a rough idea. Thank you to the guys at El Cigar for letting me have this. Uh, once again, go along to Vapors Boutique. The link will be in the description and you can see when the next batch is coming along, but you can buy this online from a shop. You do not have to go and just join a Facebook group. As always, thank you to you for watching and until next time, bye for now. To the side of me, you will find two other videos that I think you may be interested in. As always, please feel free to leave comments to the video below. Cheers.